Alert tonight, we now know the one confirmed case of measles here in Florida is an adult in Broward County. With more cases being reported every single week across the United States, that's raising a lot of concerns about vaccinations now. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sasney for us at the Palm Beach County Health Department tonight with what we all need to know. The health department here says the vaccination rate is well over 90% for the measles, but it's those who haven't been vaccinated who now may be most at risk for getting measles. And many parents who have concerns about the vaccine are now fighting for their privacy. The rally today was simply about privacy and yeah. protecting private medical information, okay. and it is about choice. And Margot Cannon is talking about a rally of parents in Tallahassee Tuesday against what's been called a vaccine tracking bill, a way for the state to know who's getting vaccinated and who is not. Parents should be given the choice of what they do with their children. The issue has come as Florida health officials and doctors brace for a possible measles outbreak. Unfortunately, it is a concern for us in the healthcare profession and population in general because it is something that can spread very rapidly. It is a very contagious virus. Pediatrician Dr. Chad Sanborn says he's spending more time these days trying to convince parents not to reject vaccinations. The, the shot itself, again, it, it's been studied time and time again. It does appear to be safe and very effective. So I think it's something that if you're available to get it, which the vast majority of people are, they should get it. I would say just as a mother, uh, to be educated, to learn the risks, look at what potential adverse reactions are just as you would any other drug. So far, the largest outbreak of the measles in the United States has been in New York. And again, here in Florida, just that one case in Broward County. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.